We just got to the hotel. <laughs> this sweets hotel, I don't know what to call it. Sour hotel, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> this hotel is not like anything we ever stayed in before because we're used to like, you guys gotta remember, we went on like two trips in our whole entire life. <laughs> we went to Tybee, which is like a beach hotel. And then we went to Margaritaville, which is like a resort. So this is different. I walked in and this is like a house. This is a... Uh, like an Airbnb or something. Just like a, a, an apartment. Like it looks like an apartment. It's really cool. I think it's called, I don't even know what it's called. Booking.com knows what it's called because Booking.com did all the work. I think it's, I think, <laughs> I think it's Home Goods Suites, I think. Colton says, look at his, his alley because, okay, listen, you the good a, view you was. Get a, you get a patio view, a beauty, and this is what I get. <laughs> this is what? It, the the good view was ten dollars more. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this. That is that ain't creepy. Somebody done boarded up a door. I don't know what's behind it. <laughs> On the other side over there, there's a courtyard. <laughs> this. Let me tell you, this, this place is really, really, like, nice. You come in, it's, like, downtown. So, like, it's, downtown is super, like, fancy and stuff. I came in with my Crocs pulling an Adam Sandler of YouTube. <laughs> I'm dressed like Adam Sandler. I don't care where I'm at. We walked in, and we had been in the car with food and stuff for a crap ton of hours. So, we walk into this nice butt place smelling pooty <laughs> and being so confused i'm over here in my jogging suit and my crocs and i got them suckers in four wheel drive got my pepper spray in my hand because <laughs> i'm not used to big cities <laughs> and that lady looked at us and she's like what room are you in <laughs> she knows she was thinking as far away from the reception desk as, as possible i hope <laughs> but it has a kitchen it has a living room with a pull out sofa That's where I and live. It has a bedroom with two queen beds, and then it has a bathroom. So like it's one big room with the kitchen and the living room put together, and then it's one big room with the bathroom and the bedroom put together. This is what the kitchen looks like. So it's got like this really futuristic, I'm sure half of y'all have these in your houses. <laughs> this really futuristic stove top, uh, stove top, <laughs> stove top, stove top, what do you call these? Stove top oven, I don't know. I didn't know that they were going to have any of this in here. Um, if I had known, I would have planned to cook in here to save money. Because I can imagine eating downtown is going to be really expensive. It's got like one of these camper sinks. And it has like a little coffee area. It has a dishwasher. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Also, probably not going to be using that. But, um, yeah, because I don't even know how to open it. Oh. Wait, it comes with utensils. Wow, that's so cool of them. Got some stash here. <laughs> it's got plenty of cabinet space. So like if you were wanting, it, it even comes with plates. Are you kidding me? It even comes with plates. Oh my gosh. It comes with a toaster. What, does it really? It comes with a toaster. It's got like a nice microwave. I love that thing. And then it's got this little refrigerator that's about five foot one, five foot two on a good day like moi. We're like twinsies. I'm just a tad bit taller than it. Is that a trash can on top of the fridge? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It don't come with ice. You're going to give me silverware, but you ain't going to give me ice. <laughs> I want to know what's in this room. Oh, that smells kind of musky. Oh, man, this is so nice. Got a table here. Okay, look at these nice hardwood floors. Ooh. What's the decorator. I think at somebody else's house for the weekend. It's <laughs> mine. <laughs> no. Their uh, flooring is so pretty. They're like little decorators. Got like so cute. Like look at that. Look how cute that is. Got some artwork here. It looks like from it's from the Lion King. Ah, uh, so when you got a two person seat, so we're taking turns while we're eating breakfast. Two person table. We got firework art. We got some lamps. This is the pull out sofa that the boys will be sleeping on, with the view of the pooty. <laughs> Pretty alley, <laughs> and then we, it has this kind of air in it. Um, hey, at least we get air. Mm -mm. Has this pretty peacock looking chair? It has this pretty drawer for TV stand and a TV in here and a TV in the other one. And it comes with Cammy. Oh, it's got this really pretty fish bowl lamp. Can y'all see it? Huh? You are so It looks like a fish bowl. Abstract. 
<laughs> this is how fancy people decorate apparently. <laughs> I'll show you the other half of it when Cammy gets done taking a shower because he needed a shower. It's it's different and it's a new experience in a totally new place, in a totally different city than I've ever been in, at before. We had to park in a parking garage to get here. We didn't even know how to use the little meter at the parking garage, so this is an experience. Nobody better even sit on the sofa because it's that kind of suede stuff that whenever you get it wet, like it makes a butt print. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's not even for sitting. You just look at it. <laughs> Fifty car pile up in Wisconsin. Colton standing like a a papaw who mows his lawn every Saturday. I think we can only watch ESPN. What? This is the worst TV. <laughs> Turn it down. Apparently, apparently, we're north. Was talking about a pile up in Wisconsin. Yeah. Where's the kids? Put it on college basketball. Thank you. I think I think basketball is exhilarating. I think we should watch it. What? Why are you whistling at the basketball player? It's a good movie, but we might want to turn it down. Oh, this. And bless our appetites, both physical and spiritual, to honor you in all we do. In Jesus' name. Hey, she Amen. said in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, where do you think you're going to go? JJ, you can't find nothing. There's an office. No, I like that. Go down. Go down. Go down. Amen. They did say in Jesus' name. Amen. I like this. Uh, <laughs> never get together. Yeah. They found the office. Oh, peace out. Look what I get. Oh, my God. Just like that. <laughs> 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 Alright, so then going in here, we have Shane's shoes, which I'm surprised he left his Jordans there. We have hold the on, bathroom on, channel. On. Because I can't be mis misrepresented, okay? <laughs> we have the bathroom over here. So in here, we've got the vanity and the vanity lights, which is so pretty. This reminds me of the bathroom, the floors too. Love those floors. Uh, of Margaritaville, kind of. Like it reminds me of the bathroom with the big old LED lights and then the open shower over here and the toilet that has already been used apparently because the toilet seat's up. Shower that you can see through. Um, handlebar so I can hold it and push hog my legs. Everybody needs that. Look how pretty. And then in here is just, I, I don't know, is this a walker? I don't know. It's store stuff. Got some drawers there. And then over here is the two queen beds. So this is the bedroom part of the hotel. And we got a mirror here so we can see how snatched we are. Oh, <laughs> we got another piece of uh, Lion King artwork here. Got these big old butt headboards. <laughs> this place is nice, y'all. Look at this carpet. And then this is two queen beds. And then it's got a nightstand in the middle. The only thing is it doesn't have a lot of overhead lighting. It's all about lamps. Maybe that's a normal thing for hotels. I don't know. I don't I don't travel enough to know. There's <laughs> my pepper spray. But we got a TV stand, drawers, and TV here. So we have two TVs in here. Got another piece of the Lion King artwork. And then we got a desk here, which is we've already put our started putting our stuff on. This air here, which is gonna be coming handy because I forgot my fan at home, so I need Louise to fall asleep. And this lone Mr. Rogers chair that's accented by this lamp. I'm digging the wall here for some reason that just like makes me ha my it just makes the what little decorator there is in me. Very, very happy. What do you think about it? Pretty bad. I show. Oh, I didn't show them. Let me show you guys. I don't know how to lift this. Do you know how to lift this? Okay, so y'all saw Colton and Cammy's view. 
<laughs> yeah, I saw Colton in Gamey's view. Wait till you see our view, though. Our view is cool, and Colton's mad about it. <laughs> that is our view. So we have a view of the little outdoor patio courtyard area with its lots and stuff. That's really pretty. And then there are hotels everywhere in this downtown area. I had to bring me a Sherpa blanket because I can't sleep without it. I'm impressed. I am impressed. And Shane likes it, so that's what matters. Like I said, it's a lot different from anything we've stayed in before. Because, like, I don't like how, like, we're in separate rooms from the kids. If they had an area in here to bring a mattress, I'd probably go buy a blow-up mattress. But there's not really... Maybe I could fit one there. It's not really anywhere that I can... I just don't like my kids being in And, like, even though it's attached to this room, a separate room than me in a new place... <laughs> But we're here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, Cammy is normally really, really good with anything. Like, he's he's chill. Ain't you, Cammy? You chill? But to make this trip, what, baby? Yeah, there's soap in there. Can you imagine that? <laughs> the nice, nice soap in the bathroom. But to make this trip easier on Cammy, I stocked us up with some stuff that is new to him, he's never seen before. You singing? What you saying? I stocked it up with stuff he's never seen before, so I'll have the uh, what's it called? Element of surprise. <laughs> kind of thing. So he's got this, which is mess free markers. He's singing y'all song right now with his mess free coloring book, and it came with this container right here that he can store his book and his markers in there. Ain't that cool, Kimmy? Cool. <laughs> so that is what we've got him doing tonight because he was wanting something to do. He's been on his tablet pretty much the whole ride oh. here, so he wanted to do something different. What, baby? Do we have toast? Toast. We have toast out there. <laughs> but I put everything else in a bag so that tomorrow we'll have the element of surprise. When we go make Shane's family, we'll have the element of surprise. Sure. Whenever we need it, we'll have the element of surprise. Let me show you. I got my Columbia bag here. You can tell like it's full of stuff for him. A lot of the stuff I found at Walmart and it's like sensory, like friendly stuff, you know? So first, we've got Cammie's favorite, trolleys. Just in case we need them, they're there. We also have Cammie's second favorite, dum-dums. He loves these things. When I'm in a pinch, I have a bag on me and this is what I got to, to redirect his attention. Candy redirects his attention like no other. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> but it works. Okay, so then, this is this is one of the little, I'm hiding from him, so I still have the element of surprise. But this is one of the little sensory things that we found. It's a little fidget watch. And it's an actual watch. And I got this at Walmart. And it just like, you can fidget it. And apparently it's like a blind bag, so you can get different ones in the packages. But this one's just like, it. It'll keep his attention for a little bit. This is the Sensory FX ASMR Fidget Watch. Got more Dum Dums. <laughs> Got about every flavor of Dum Dum. This Etchy Sketch. Cammy loves art and he loves anything like this. So I figured this would grab his attention for a few minutes. All I need is 15 minutes to redirect attention and then we're fine. Got this Rubik's Cube. But it's a sensory one. Found this at Walmart. It's got all sorts of little capturing his attention. It's got all sorts of these little just fidgeting things on it. I was playing with this earlier. It even like you can open it. Found that at Walmart. It was a part of this brand. So I got trolleys and and done those for days. I got this for the element of surprise. He loves these splashes. And this is a turd, so you can imagine how much he'll love that. Kids love turds for some reason. I mean, I like turds, they're cute. Like, not actual turds though, right? <laughs> like, right. We did, like. I love turds. You love turds? I love turds. You are my child. That weirdness is just genetic, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I have this for the for just a little present. Like I said, just redirect attention for a few minutes and we're good. Then I had to find things that could not only redirect his attention, but keep his attention, attention for a while. In case we were doing like, you know, when we're down sitting down talking to his family or where I'm doing things and I need him to be still for a little bit. Puzzles. He loves puzzles and he is a genius when it comes to puzzles. So I got a baby shark, which is his favorite, and Jurassic Park, which is his favorite. 
couple puzzles. This one's a 46 piece and this one's a 24 piece. Also got some of these little sensory things. This came in a pack at Walmart and it is the same brand as the fidget watch. They're like little animals. Look, a little dinosaur. The long tail. Oh, that's a fun. You want this one? This one's a little unicorn. Oh, a little unicorn. How cool is that? It's a unicorn. I got this because he loves playing games like this. That would be something that would get and hold his attention. Here's another one of those fidget uh, sensory toys. I don't know if you can really see. Can you see? It's it's squishy sushi sushi sushi. Squishy. It's, it's squishy sushi. So it's fidgets play feel fidget sensory sushi. I don't know. Got three of these. These are like his kryptonite, like these these. I got three of those. They're only a dollar too. So I got one more pack of the mess free stuff. Oh, those are free emergencies. We're waiting on food. We ordered Sicilian food. I um, never had Sicilian food. So Shane ordered Sicilian pizza for him and the kids. And I was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna A, get me some lasagna, but then I'm gonna B, get me some chef salad to combat it. So I got two entrees <laughs> for the sake of healthiness. <laughs> Make that make sense. I'm not even putting that into the Weight Watchers app. Can you tell me salad? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you some. So I'm gonna keep this. He's still drawing. Over here, buried. Thank you. So it's conspicuous. Every time I pass this alley, I'm just thinking like, Dark Queen Duck, let's get dangerous. Dark Queen Duck. I really should have spent the extra $10 to get a better view. Can I show them my little mini LOL? Sure. It's kind of like a little LOL. It's like LOL and on these, but they're like little ones. And it's, of course, she has like a little house. Yeah, and this is her hat she can you, uh, sometimes they come with like uh, a pets and little siblings and stuff. So I'll try to get a sibling. Bear nose, bear nose pizza. Oh, it's about to go down. When I take off my hoodie before I eat, you know it's about to go down. I don't care what anybody tells you, road trip calories don't count. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Here we got. Oh, that's the random pie I ordered because I never heard of it. <laughs> okay. It's like a, a, I can't remember what pie. Oh, that looks banging though. Y'all look at that. This. Ooh, my lasagna. Ooh, look at that. I see that you're sneaking <gasps> into food. I'm not sneaking. I'm looking. Yeah. That was you're good. Just that's looking. my. What? Yeah, you're just looking. <laughs> Family's constantly roasting me, man. Let's see what this is. Is this mine too? If this is mine too, then I think I might have overdid it a little bit. Oh, Shelby, it's your birthday. Look at this. Oh, girl. Oh, my Lanta. So, what is this? This. Cinnamon rolls. Okay, there's another bag over here. I was like, wait a minute, I got a salad. I can't please tell me I have a salad. <laughs> These are cinnamon rolls. That's what Shane wanted. I don't know a fan of those, but I got me some, we're gonna call it dirt pie. These open with they open from the side. <laughs> it even has a little picnic table in the middle of it. This is a 16 incher. Oh, Shane and the kids are gonna love that. Where's my salad though? I'm on the hunt for the most important part. Y'all, I ordered five French dresses. <laughs> Not ranch dresses, ranch <laughs> dressing. Oh, she look healthy. Yes. She look healthy. Yeah. I'm impressed. They counted my ranches out. All five are counted for. One, two, 
Say four or five. It better be the good kind of ranch. It ain't the good kind of ranch. I can tell by the smell. This is mine. So this must be Shane's. Because his has just got like some croutons. Very basic. And mine is all dressed up with some ham and some tomatoes and cheeses. Yeah, this one's mine. All those five ranches are mine though, so they better give him. You know, better have given him. Oh, they give him five too. And the way Shane works is he knows that I'm gonna take half of those because they're taxes for me and his wife. Every year we all gotta pay taxes. That's how Shane pays his. Ranch dressing. They even gave us some little complimentary crackers. Okay, I like them. All right, we're gonna eat. I think Shane's on the phone with his family. So when he gets off the phone with his family, we're going to eat. He's so excited. Like he is busting at the seams excited. It makes it so worth the all day drive here. Bless you. It makes it so worth the all day drive here. Are you videoing me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is my quiet yeah, in my nose. I told you they'd help me eat my salad. Welcome to my show. <laughs> no, it's not perfectly correct. No, I'm going to quiet people. Oh, I guess tomorrow. Oh, huh. Oh. This must be some sort of authentic food because this ain't like normal lasagna, but man. There's like a whole layer there. It's kind of like a lasagna quesadilla. I don't know who Cicely is, but she knows her food. Any more secret I'm so good. Oh, and by the way, don't get on to me. Don't do it. This is literally all they had in the gift shop downstairs. They really didn't have anything else. Except for water. And I've got me water too. So Shane's family is actually going to come to our hotel versus us going to their house. And they are coming early. Not too early, like 9 a.m. But I know it takes me a hot minute to straighten my hair. Right now it's like a it's like Q-tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna straighten it now. So in the morning all I have to do is put on my face and my clothes. Maybe my girdle. I don't know if I put on a girdle yet or not. Your girl ate too much salad and Sicily lasagna. If I put a girdle on, I might just end up like a busted calzone. I got a new straightener because mine fell apart. Like this part of the straightener, it came off completely. Like on my hair, it stuck to my hair while I was straightening it. I've had it for over a decade. Like I think. I had it in my and Shane's first apartment, so I had it a while. It finally bit the dust, and I decided to go with the Chi because I've always wanted a Chi, and I've heard they're really good. So this is the first time I'll be using a Chi to straighten my hair. Currently, it is like 11 o'clock, so I need to hurry. Half my kiddos are asleep, half of them are wired. I think Shane's gonna draw on his iPad. Is that right, Shane? I think Shane's gonna go on his iPad for a little bit. And I'm going to straighten my hair, turn this cute tip into a 100% cotton blanket. <laughs> I'm pretty, that was so nice. That was so sweet, Jolly. My hair's kinda damp because my hair's so thick. It's fine, but it's thick. Because it's so thick, it takes my hair forever to dry. I washed it this morning at 9 in the morning this morning before we left and 8 actually and it still is not dry and it is it's been over 12 hours that's how long it takes my hair to dry but once I get it straightened I'm going to try to read a little bit because I didn't bring a book but let me take my earrings out I didn't bring a book but I do have my Kindle Unlimited on my phone and my library app on my phone. Both of which I have books on that I need to read. So I can be reading on those while I fall asleep. Ooh, that sucker gets hot. Okay, T, what? That is the flattest my hair has ever ironed with one little stroke. 
I got this at Ross, by the way. Ross has them discounted. Not by much, but discounted nonetheless. So if you're looking for a chi, you might want to go there and look. I know I got the rainbow looking one, like pastel rainbow one. But they had hot pink. And I think they had yellow. Can't remember. But I know they had this pastel rainbow one. And a hot pink one. Wow. I'm impressed. This is it. Life's not infinite. It's the only chance we get. So why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Will it click? Looking for the next new fix. Is this the new kind of sick? Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? They say they have the answers, but no one's getting better. They say they. Spend it all to feel less crummy and think that we've made it, think that we've made it. Well, what else? Sit by ourselves, think about the hands we dealt and all our guilt. Think that we've made it, think that we've made it. They say they have the But no one's getting better They say they have the answers It's always pay to enter and enter
life's not infinite it's the only chance we get so why are we waiting why are we waiting This was a very bittersweet trip. Once Shane's family came over to the hotel, we all left and we got to see where his dad grew up because we knew very little about what his dad did for a living, where he grew up. We knew, we knew nothing and the information we did know, it wasn't accurate. So we got to actually see where he grew up. We got to actually learn about some of his favorite things. As soon as they saw Shane and heard his voice, they were like, you sound just like him. <laughs> I'm so grateful that we could experience this and that even though Shane can't meet his dad on this side of heaven, he can meet some of his family because he had never met them either. to my father-in-law thank you for playing a part in my husband's creation even though he never really got to meet you i see you in him every day he's got your eyes and he's got your smile if we look close enough it's almost like we have a little bit of you here with us i wish things would have been different 
but rest assured he will never stop looking for you, for little pieces of you in everything he does and in everywhere he goes. Our kids will know about you. They'll know everything good about you that we know. I've spent over a decade searching for you since I was 17 years old. I've been walking out of rooms when negative things have come up about you. I've been defending you because you're not here to do it yourself. I feel a closest with you that I don't feel with anybody else in his family. It was worth it. It's still worth it. And it will always be worth it. I told Jesus to fist bump you for me until I get there to do it myself. <laughs> I love you a little bit. <laughs> and your presence on this channel made this happen not your money not your funding but your loyalty to be here and to be with us made it happen i hope you guys have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more i'll see y'all later so we know more than what we did coming up here yeah but we ain't done learning nope we're yeah. gonna find out more yep there's a lot more to learn so bless johnny we're gonna find out yeah. we're gonna we're gonna play scooby-doo with this one Love you. Love them or love me? You. You love them? Of course I love them, but <laughs> I'm saying I love you to you. <laughs>